What's up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're doing well today. Today we have got, hang on, the gate's about to drop, oh my god, we're going already. Um, I've got a, uh, another enduro race, oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, drunk Insane is drunk and plans on taking me out most of the race. Um, so, um, this is, oh god, he's proper, look at him, <laughs> he's had a few too many drinks there on the left. Um, this is a enduro race, it's on the track Fernley, and it essentially it's, it's an invita invitational series, you know, so uh, you have to be invited to it. This is round four out of four, it's the final one. Uh, I managed to uh, win the previous three um, by a good chunk, actually. Um, so I thought it'd be nice to record this one. I did stream the last one, um, but I just really didn't fancy streaming tonight. So uh, I'm gonna record this one. I'm not sure yet if uh, I'm gonna cut it up or if I'm just gonna leave it completely raw. We'll see how it goes, see how much I'm talking throughout. Um, but it should be some good fun. Um, this one seems fairly tame. In, in previous rounds, we've had it like raining and uh, max wind and things like that. And this one seems nice and tame, just uh, just nighttime by looks of it. So really cool stuff. Uh, track is made by uh, Jesse Mullock. And yeah, it's uh, it's on the MXB Mods website if you want that as well. But really good stuff. I definitely recommend checking it out if you're a fan of the uh, of the rough tracks. It is very very difficult for the most part, especially when there's uh, wind and rain as well. Um, it's 40 minutes long, so best uh, settle in for the long haul here. Uh, luckily, because it's the fourth and final round, I did know what track it was going to be. Uh, it's been random throughout the, the whole time, but it's only it's the only uh, round that was left, so I knew which one it was going to be. Ran about three or four practice laps. Uh, lap times are about five minutes long, and that, that was Nonny Road. I imagine when it gets a bit rougher, lap times probably go up to like six minutes or so, with plenty of crashes involved. So um, my plan really is hopefully to just check out, um, see how much I can win by, see how many people I can lap, and we'll just we'll play it from there. I did actually say that I was going to do the whole, oh my god, that's not where you go, uh, I was going to do the whole 30 second head start type of video that I used to do, um, but I started recording literally two seconds before the gate dropped and completely forgot about it, so that is my bad, uh, maybe enough time, I'll, uh, I'll actually, I'll keep that on the back burner, oh, my Omega's gone already, okay, um, I'll, I don't know if he's finished a race yet in this whole series, um, I'll keep that on the back burner as some more video ideas for the, uh, for the future, but um, there's not really... Not really any pressure on me in this race, to be honest. Um, I only need to get top seven to win, apparently. I'm not sure how the points work. It's like Olympic scoring, so I'm not even sure what how many points you'd get for last place. But, oh my god, that's not going to plan. Let's spin her around, and we'll get going again. Oh, it looks like other people are crashing as well. One thing that I always um, forget that I need to get used to every single time is uh, in this server there's no like gear assist. Um, so you have to let off the throttle or hold the clutch and change gear. Usually I run the uh, the gear assist just because when I made the transition over to MX Bikes, I came from MX Sim, and in Sim you can kind of bang up and down the gears as, as freely as you want. You know, you haven't got to use the clutch or shut off the throttle at all. Um, so the muscle memory is really hating me right now. Uh, I always, always forget, and I'll get halfway down the straight after changing up the gears a few times, and I'll just be like, oh, I'm still in first gear. Let me <laughs> let me change that. But we should be we should be okay. Um, as the weeks have gone, I've been slowly getting used to it. I just have to quickly let go. I'm not gonna, I'm not even bothering with the clutch. I'm purely doing it on the throttle. Uh, so nice and easy round here. Um, the last, in, in the stream that I've done last, uh, for round three, um, someone asked why I was on the Husky, like the normal Husky OEM, rather than an enduro bike. Uh, one simple reason is I have a suspension on this bike, and that is the the one only reason I'm doing it. Just thought rather than running a stock enduro bike, I'd run the OEM that I've got a setup on. Uh, the setup seems to work quite well through whoop sections uh, for me, and since this track is basically entirely whoops, I thought, yeah, it'd be a pretty good idea. Um, I think, is that, is that Greeny in P2? That's a shocker, didn't expect him to be that high up, unless the, uh, unless the timing's a little bit boofed. What we got? I've got five, yeah, five second lead, it's alright so far. This is, I, I can't see myself winning by as big of a margin in this race, purely because there's no, like, extra weather conditions and stuff thrown in here, like, like, it's not, it's not raining, it's not extra windy or anything like that that could trip people up, just nice. Standard, uh, standard racing, nice and simple, nice and easy. Um, I wonder, well, I wonder and I hope if they've bumped the road uh, setting up to make it nice and rough for us by the end of the race. Uh, usually about the 20 minute mark, the track gets gets pretty boofed, gets pretty um, pretty difficult to ride around. You, you end up tiptoeing through a few sections, and I actually quite enjoy that. It's much nicer when you can't hit everything pinned. You have to kind of pick your way through, choose your lines right. Um, otherwise, your front end just like knives into the ground, and all, all sorts can go wrong. Uh, but let's uh, let's get on with it a little bit, and uh, I actually think I will cut it up. Actually, we'll um, I'll kind of cut back and forth intermittently when when some juicy stuff happens, and yeah, I'll see you in a sec. 
Here we go, just coming to the end of our first lap, and right on cue, I said the lap times were about five minutes long, didn't I? What was that? Five minutes, 16, so that's my target to aim for. I think my best lap when I was practicing was 4.50 something. Um, but as you can see as well, only one lap gone. There's only about 10 people in here, um, and the road already starting to kick its way in and get a little bit wild. So you can imagine once we're three, four laps in, does get a little bit tricky. You've got to be very, very careful, pick your lines correctly, and uh, just try and be as smooth on the throttle as you can. And uh, most importantly, don't go off the track because we've had quite a lot of people in these races get disqualified for having too many cuts. Uh, not intentional by any means, but you know, when you ride the uh, ride the limits of this track, especially when you're trying to define the smoothest line possible, can be a little bit sketchy. You love getting over that. That's not, I'm not going to be able to do that in the entire race. That straight before it's going to get far too wild. Um, oh no, Triptes, he got the cuts. Oh, he's every single round he's managed to get away without getting cuts and in the last round he finally gets one. Oh, so that's quite funny. <laughs> oh well, well, I'll check back in again if anything else exciting happens. Uh, this is also going to be completely unrelated to the videos as well, um, but I noticed that as I joined this lobby my MMR was, uh, was quite high. I went and checked the MX Bike stats uh, webpage and somehow I'm in first place. Uh, so after uh, the last two aerial rounds, I guess in the, the Triple Crown where I went 1-2-1 one, one in position and then winning at Daytona as well, it's like boosted my numbers so high because I'm, I'm riding against people that already have high MMR and beating them just bumps it even more. So I'm at about, I think it's like 15-70 or 15-80-ish area, so really, really good. However, that does add a lot of more pressure now into every single online race that I do because uh, let's say I'm just having a fun online race with Charlie, for example, and there's 10 or so people in there. If I'm messing around with him and I end up getting something like fifth, for example, my MMR is going to drop like drastically to maybe like 1300 or something. So now I've almost got to just try my ass off every single race even more. So I think I'm not really going to do or mess with a whole lot of online unless I have the intention of... Uh, kind of racing and, and winning really i think i'll stick to those those open practice lobbies that don't do any races because otherwise it's going to be uh be a bit sad to see that number one spot go it's something that i worked towards like months and months ago before the uh before they stopped working uh, now they are finally working again it's just it's really nice i did want to do something along the lines of if anybody watches rocket league you'll see quite a few pros in that they do road to rank one kind of series uh, on the leaderboards and I wanted to do something along those lines but I guess there's no point now because I've already reached it so um, see how long I can keep out for I'm sure it won't uh, it won't last forever I'm sure someone will come along and beat me or put in a grind in some easier online lobbies but yeah the aerial races massive favour there so even more incentive to do well in them god the tyres are claiming me I don't think there's any smooth way through those you just have to just have to brute force it through. Uh, a little bit of a quick lap that time. Just dipped under the under the five minutes. So uh, that was that's kind of going to be the last of the easy laps. That was the end of lap two. Um, it's all probably. I don't say downhill. Downhill makes it sound like it's a negative. Um, the, basically, the track is going to get worse and worse and worse. And uh, probably by the end of the race is probably to be doing like a, a lap without a crash, for example. Probably like five thirty ish to if you'd got a couple crashes, six minutes. Oh my god! Oh, I have no idea. I've not crashed there. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Can I still get this bad boy? Yes, nice and easy. There we go. Is it possible? Uh, so obviously, I don't. I don't run any servers. I'm not sure. Um, server side to make it so the track looks normal, but it's actually still wet because it sounds like the wet um, sand sound that you usually get. Um, and I won't lie, I am struggling to find traction in a lot of these corners, especially this like fast turning, bumpy straight. So yeah, I'm wondering if maybe it's still wet underneath um, and it just. Oh god, and it's just the surface looks nice. Um, but yeah, no no worries if we have these crashes. We're a minute uh, a minute out in front, which is very nice. Makes my life nice and easy, no stresses. We just get to ride her on in home and uh, just hope that our forks don't explode over all these bumps. Oh, I see on the left there. I think I see some cheeky lines that people are taking. Not really, not meant to go round the uh, round the track. I see, I saw two ruts there. I wonder if that's one person, two laps in a row, or if that's uh, that's two people being a little bit uh, a little bit naughty. Find myself getting closer and closer and closer to the edges of the track everywhere, just trying to look for an unused line, just a smooth one. Like the lighter the uh, the lighter the colour of the sand, the better. I have no like no idea whatsoever why this one straight is so bloody difficult. You'd think it'd be one of the easiest because it's just a straight line, but the back end just constantly wants to step out everywhere and then send you into these damn bushes that have uh, quite annoying collisions on them that just properly saps all of your speed. 
It's all right. That wasn't too bad. The last lap round, I, I crashed twice on that one straight. Oh god, we're not on the track. Let's get back over it. I'm also wondering when and who the first lap is going to be. I always like seeing who I, who I come up to first and usually how long it takes. Uh, looking down at the timing at the moment, uh, I'm not sure if we've got 10 or 11 people, but if it is 10, then it's uh, Mr. Higo, the track creator, that we'll, we'll be coming up to first. He's currently 3.20 behind and he crossed the line maybe 30 seconds ago. I saw him get a second of cuts, so uh, we're probably like another minute and a half, two minutes back. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll keep on pushing, see if we can catch up to them all, see if we can get some more uh, more action on the screen rather than just me trying to tiptoe my way through this track. Yeah, that was not a very good lap whatsoever. Uh, a lot of crashes that time around. Uh, 23 seconds worse than my best lap, to be exact. So um, that, a lot of these crashes, I just don't have time to react to. It's like the back end will suddenly spin around on me on a certain bump. Um, I did land one jump and it just instantly got ejected over the bars. Uh, so track is certainly getting very difficult. Uh, lots of, uh, well, I say lots of, I was going to say a lot of lack of traction, but that's, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, a lack of traction would be a much better sentence, so just got to be very, very careful on the throttle and uh, just not lean too far over or not enough, just be very progressive on the accelerating and the turn. Well, we're back on the straight of doom again. I'm just going to see if I can make it through this time. You can see on the uh, controller overlay just how gentle I'm being, but no, it doesn't matter. One tiny little bump like that, go flying off the side of the track. Very, very odd, very confusing, because I feel like for the most part, I do have decent like bike and, and throttle control, but yeah, the bike just moves away from me. It, like, it feels as if there's wind, but I don't think there is, because I don't feel it anywhere else other than this one straight. It's very, very odd. I also feel like there's an awesome battle for P2 going on right now. Looking down at the leaderboards, there's three people all across the line, two minutes, ten behind. Which is just wild. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, so uh, yeah, little little lonely old me out here by myself, just doing my thing, you know, putting in the uh, putting in the work, putting in the grind. I think there's one person taking that line on the left here of these jumps because uh, there is exactly four lines in it, and we've done well. We've we've taken that part of the track four laps now. So uh, very very naughty man. Um, that that part of the track there is purely just the start when the track goes the other direction because there's multiple layouts of this. Uh, you are really meant to hit the two jumps, but. I suppose anything's getting an advantage. Oh, I can't really name and shame anyone because I have no idea who it is. Let's have a look at them three guys there on the map at the top right. They are having a good old battle for that P2. Really nice to see. I wish I was involved in some sort, but... Uh, oh, no. Okay. Very, very odd crash there. I keep my uh, keep my ass in the road. Looks like there's a few battles going on around the track, actually. There's a few people battling a bit lower down than that as well. Um, we have got... So for some reason it says Higo is a lap down, even though he's not. I have not lapped him yet, so I'm not sure if that's a timing issue or what, but, uh, you know, just keep on plodding along. I'm surprised I've not come to lappers yet. Usually I have by this point, so that means everybody's having a, uh, a pretty good race so far. Can you please get back on the track, Linz? Thank you. There we go. And I will tackle the uh, the Strait of Doom once again. I can finally see uh, the first lapper on the map, and it is going to be Higo. He's like four, one, two, three, about four or five corners away. Although, don't be just like the sea. That is probably still like another another minute up the road, but oh god, oh I'm not sure I've not gone over the bars there. Jesus Christ! Um, last lap was 47 seconds slower than my best, so just goes to show how much the track's slowing down. Uh, crashing multiple times a lap now, but like a couple times. I'm not sure if I'm going to include those in here or not. If I uh, hopefully I remember, um, but. We are definitely getting to the point now where the track is hella treacherous. Um, like any, any any given moment, it can just pop you over the bars, kick the back end out. Uh, so you just really got to be on top of your game. Uh, for the most part, I'm just kind of standing up. I mean, just like that, the back end just came round on me. Um, for the most part, I'm just kind of stood up on the pegs, uh, trying to keep it in a higher gear, just to keep the traction going. Um, and yeah, just kind of working my way round for the most part. This race is actually flown by. We've only got seven minutes and a, and a lap left. And for a 40 minute race, usually they drag quite a lot, but I'm quite in, uh, quite enjoying myself here, rather than this uh, that one horrible straight that I can't get through at all. Slow and steady, slow and steady. Not even going to try even going past half for all this time. Oh my god, that was so... Oh my god, how? Oh, I'm being so careful and it still comes around on me. He's done something to this straight. I'm going to uh, be having a word with the track maker after this and see what on earth is going on on that section because I cannot for the life of me get through it without doing a 180 or a 360. Right, we've got another two laps to go here, and I've still not lapped anyone. Very disappointed. Um, lap times, yeah, they're boof now. Like, Still under six minutes, but... I fives, you know, it's uh, they are getting quite long, and no matter how hard I try, how careful 
I try and be. Some sections of the track, they just keep claiming me, you know, it's so, so difficult. Um, what I'm going to do is, if anything interesting happens this lap, I'll skip to it, but um, I'm going to keep you on board for the entirety of the last lap, just so you have a comparison um, between how the track was in lap one versus lap, uh, what's going to be, lap nine at that time. So yeah, catch you in a sec. Here we go, we're finally lapping someone. It's Mr. Higo as well. For that being a nice uh, lap brief, I know he was in a battle then, just let me pass. Uh, next one on the list is Osmeralda, I believe, looking at the, uh, the timing down there. Um, I may as well... Uh, oh, actually no, I was going to say I'll keep you on board from here, but we still got like an entire minute left for this lap. Uh, oh, man down, am I going to be able to dodge? That one my way through, up and up, <laughs> and into the bush. Oh my god. Okay, well, uh, well let's try and... Oh, please, 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 right. Careful, slowly, gentle on the throttle. And in a straight line, now we go. Okay, right, I'll come back to you when the last lap starts. I found the culprit. Was it Osmeralda that was doing it the whole time, or did he just jump off the track there? I have no idea. <laughs> I saw someone doing it. I don't know if he didn't do it properly. I think he might have just jumped off the side of the table by mistake. But, last lap, here we go. I'm going to... Okay. <laughs> I'm going to keep you on board for the entirety of the last lap. I feel like I'm slowing him up at this point. <laughs> I say I always do this. I always get it right in front of the lapper and then make a mistake of my own and end up slowing them down. But I'll keep you on board. We might be able to get one more person. There's someone just up the road there. Not sure who it is. Who's number 145? J-Lo. Jennifer Lopez. She's up there. Right, let's go get her. Oh, that's so rough. Oh, I think I've got 10 seconds. Oh, that's rough. I'm not sure where he where went off the track that lap. He, um... Waited patiently for me to go past, which was very nice of him, so he's been done a bit dirty there. Up and over this. Oh, we're off the track. Let's get back on. Thank you. This corner is so deadly. Can't stay up on the pegs. Nice and easy. I'm not going to try sending this whole way like I have been. Let's jump it to there. Downside this bump. Oh, God. We're alive. It's fine. It's fine. You're going to see how many uh, wild crashes I'm going to get this lap because every other lap, um, I've been kind of hitting like brick walls in the track it feels like you know just coming to a complete stop uh, like doing a front flip on the spot front end knifing really hard so we'll see what happens this time around I'm gonna I mean I'm gonna try for the most part to stay out of the super rough stuff like here you know kind of go far left try and stay out of the rough but still stay on the track of course but then uh, oh hang on just itching my nose when stuff like that happens even though I felt like I was I was good on the takeoff Back end had different ideas. I'm crashing this corner the last two laps in a row. Let me try and <laughs> just tiptoe around the inside for a change rather than going around the outside. That was a little bit better. Right, stay over here. I want to stay away from the, uh, the super dark areas because they are the ones that, that are catching me out. Please don't go over the bars. Oh, horrible bounce. Sneak up the inside. I'll cut across like that. And here we go. This is the, uh, the straight of doom. I'm going to go nice and easy. You're going to be watching this like, oh, come on, go a little bit faster. But no, that's where it deceives you. The second you put on a little bit of gas, it kicks you really, really bad. I'm not sure what it is, but the tyres just seem to hook all different directions as soon as you leave the ground. So I don't plan on doing much of it. It's nice and easy. Just kind of double and triple our way through. I understand the track here. Looks like a lot of people cut across there, but I don't think it's uh, anything bad timing-wise. Quite hard to see where the track does go in some places, so... You have to give people the benefit of the doubt. Oh, I've landed this jump and done a front flip a few times, so let's just stay far right. I'm gonna hug the inside down here as well. Let's hug this. I'm gonna double up and round that corner. Oh god. Oh, back end almost came round on me there. We passed Jayla. We've got quite a few people in front of us now. It looks like everyone's quite close together. You know, we were all by ourselves the entire race. Come the last lap, everything happens, everything pops off. Send this bad boy. Oh, I landed in a bit of a hole there, but it weren't too bad. Across the outside. Who we got this? Oh, we've got the man himself, the Enduro King, Mr. Resolute Kraken. Fair play riding the Beta 300. That is not a bike that I can really get my head around or enjoy at all. Got some sneaky lines here as well. Just hug this inside. Seems to be quite nice and smooth. Panic rev in front of us as well. Let's see if we can hug it inside or something. Nice smooth line here on the left. across to open the corner up for us apex it a little bit not well whatsoever oh easy easy i felt the bike getting a little bit unsettled there over that right slot into this inside rut I'm gonna stay up on the pegs hopefully it helps the suspension out a little bit yeah i swear 
I suppose you could really like hug tight left around that corner. The the, uh, the tape allows a lot of room. I didn't even notice that until this lap. Oh, up and over. This straight's quite treacherous as well. Oh my god, there's a massive hole where I went there. That was uh, bad by me. Should have been looking ahead a little bit more. We've got, oh, we've got the really skinny section left. This is like just, just double our way round through here. Be, you've got to stay so in the middle because these bushes have uh, quite wide collisions and they can just take you down when you don't even touch them. Oh my god, oh my god, it's a bit bouncy. Right, last, I think that, no, this is like the second to last super rough straight. We try and stay away from the dark bits. Very, oh. Don't want to cut the track. Stay within the uh, stay within the tape. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh. Situations like that, I just have to let go of my steering. I just have to let the bike do its own thing, wait for it to sort itself out, and then, and then proceed again. There's no point trying to fight it. Most of the time, you just end up making things worse. I've got quite a nice line through here. Don't see many people taking, like, hug tight inside, and literally just, like, ride ride this banking. Stay far left. Oh, these ruts here are dual from, from me on previous laps. Nice and slow and steady. Got to hit these. Oh god! Oh god! Ah! Oh, I almost had a like really. Am I actually? Hello? Are you serious? I'm gonna hard reset. I hope that the time and the tapes are right. Uh. 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 What on earth has just happened here? I don't know if that's, that's going to count. I'm not sure what's happened, but I'm just going to join as if nothing happened here and carry on with the rest of the lap. That screwed me over right at the end. Because I need a P7. Uh, and everyone's still riding. No one's DNF'd. Uh, is it going to count? Okay. I don't know if I'm finished gonna guess I am? What on? I've got no idea what's happening. Um, BRB I guess. Okay so second place has just crossed the line and it still says I'm in first. So I'm I think I'm okay. I think I'm safe. Uh, I've carried on to do another lap just in case because I lapped up to P6 and all I needed to uh, to win the series was a P7 or better so you know better better safe than sorry. Um, but I do believe it's done now, and I think I've got the uh, the dub, so that makes it four out of four. Um, fairly easy race for the most part. Some some definitely challenging parts of the track. Um, not quite as challenging as the uh, previous rounds where you've had like heavy heavy wind and rain and such, but still a good challenge overall. You can see how beat up the track is. You know, it's just it kicks the bike all over the place. You've got to be so careful with your line selection. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this video, most importantly, and uh, a little bit of enduro will never hurts anybody. I really enjoy it myself. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, have a lovely rest of the day, whatever it is you're up to, most importantly. And until I catch you on the next video, peace. My tent way too damn dark. Laugh in your face like man dark. Came a long way from the bad days way back. Had to burn down that landmark. Seen some things I ain't really wanna see. It's all good, that's what made me me. Now who would I be if I had it easy? Used to break down, now I'm in a 350. Like, whoa, I've been laying way too low. Had to switch up and change my flow. Cause I'm back from the block, had to bust the rocks and dust off the dust and get back in the box. Now why you wanna